You they owe me one thousand naira since. You don't want to pay me. You they tell me say you go pay me for today on. Something they do you? Why you going? I didn't say. Because I didn't say. If you don't carry my one thousand naira, come back here and I turn and go fire you. Stupid. Well, Surulere is a story about a young guy who's down on his luck. It's a story that a lot of young people in Lagos can relate to because we have the hustling um, spirit in us in Nigeria. So um, it's a story about this young man who um, follow him on a journey as he you know, crosses these hurdles in life, you know, that's really, and along the way we meet different characters that are very colorful, uh, very annoying, but yeah. in a funny way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, so it's, it's a romantic comedy, there's love in it as well, so I'll, I'll let Sean speak to um, you. Too, there is a, is a romantic comedy that it's, it's wrapped around the character Arinze. Arinze comes of age through this journey that, um, he goes from being from being down on his luck and getting into plenty of trouble to coming out triumphant at the end. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's a really fun ride because on his journey there are many obstacles in, and those are obstacles come in form of people <laughs> in his life that he cannot avoid. You know, so it's 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 great stuff it was a great journey. Yeah. I think everybody will enjoy watching Cerulary. Old, young, middle-aged, very old, male, female will enjoy. Even people that are not Nigerian. Because sometimes some people say, oh, this, this film, oh, is it just for the local Nigerian yeah. audience? I'm like, no, what it does to the non-Nigerian is it exposes you to the reality of some of our journeys. And for the older people, you would appreciate, you know, older people like to advise, ah, you have to go through process. So this would even say, yeah. eh, hey, this is what we always say. One wasn't built in a day. And for the young guy and young lady out there, it, it will show you that, you know, it's not a walk in the park. <laughs> You're going to go through stuff and it's absolutely normal. Yeah. And, you know, you can come, you can come out, you know, triumphant. And for the people whose reality it isn't, because you know, there are some people who mm -hmm. have some things, you know, easy for them and, their own obstacles are like executive obstacles. What this also does, because film is very powerful, is it transports you into that world and you can probably appreciate somebody else's story even more. Yeah. So it's a film for everybody. Um, first of all, uh, working with, that, that should be directed at the Director, director actually <laughs> you know however i'll say um we worked with a first time script writer so we took a risk mm -hmm. do you understand yeah. you know the story it was a story that spoke to us however there were lots of things that the, the director had to guide him um with writing and scripting and all the rest of it so i'd say in that area we took a risk you know like um believing uh a writer who hadn't done anything before, you know. And then what else? Uh, casting, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Casting, you know, getting the right actors that you think fit into specific certain roles. Uh, and then um, Lala as well. Mm -hmm. Lala yeah. played two, two, two characters. characters. Very, you know, totally different characters, you know. And I know initially the director wasn't sure she wanted to do that. She thought to herself, should I cast somebody else to play the landlady? And she felt... Lala is such a talented actor. I'm going to speak to her. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funding, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which everybody knows, but I don't mm -hmm. think I want to go into talk about that. Let's <laughs> like, talk about a film coming out soon, Larry, yeah. because I really don't want to burden people with, you know, mm -hmm. financing the, the and all the wahala. Of the money. Ah. I can't really answer that question yeah. because you don't know what the audience, you don't know yeah. what everybody wants to see. You don't know the characters they can find most relatable. Like a young man in Lagos 
might like his character more. Definitely. A woman finding a car or selling corn might like Mama Kara, uh, Kara most, yeah. or even the you know yeah. the yeah. ladies in yeah. Lagos, yeah. and you know beauty. Yeah. Bring yeah. 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 Like like so many Let characters. Let me for everybody. Yes. I'll, tell, I'll tell you one thing. Mm. Um, the the actors as cast in this film are are cast out of the norm. Most of them are cast out of the norm. Um, what I mean by that is you would ordinarily not even see those actors doing those some of in some of the work that they did. Mm -hmm. Now it, it um, and and that that helps to project plenty of color. Now with all of that color, there's the audience is spoiled for choice. Yeah. There are so many characters to pick from, from the horrible boss to the like a woman whose mouth is it's kind just of sharp like a, then, yeah. There are know. lots of colorful yeah. characters that you may find intriguing or so it's annoying. like a, it's it's a it's a buffet. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, buffet. Like buffet. Just of you have to find somebody. Yeah. yeah. The sophisticated, the everybody, downright, everybody's in it. Yeah. I think Cheryl already said that, like, what was the right people? Because you see actors who you know or may not know very well, you see them playing things out of the box. So you see Risto Dominic as an Akara woman, you see Naya Wigwe as a local Igbo chemist. You know those chemists are here. You see him there, you see me playing an old woman, and then I get to play Beauty, who is a really beautiful. I, I, actually, I actually think Beauty is. A different character yeah. yeah she's she's just so different you know you find a lot of people who how to say you know like to them mm -hmm. they are the the world revolves around, around them. them yes yes yeah. they're the most beautiful people in the world mm -hmm. and but when you look at their faces they're not <laughs> particularly <laughs> appealing yeah. yeah to the eyes yeah and that's what beauty represents yeah yes. you know um, it's just I like that character and, and you, you can respect that level of confidence that, that the person projects. Yes, true. Yeah. Absolutely. True. And honestly, beauty as on paper mm -hmm. and beauty that we eventually saw, mm -hmm. saw created between Mildred Okwa and Lala putting all of the creative work together. together yeah. Wow, it's very far. It's just far. I, 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 I find, I find, I find yeah, yeah. her very interesting. Yeah. I find yeah, her very interesting. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, honesty, to me, I'll say, because I was on set the day um, Aina yeah. uh, was yeah. on set. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say I found him the most, yeah. he, I mean, he was really funny. You know, I wasn't on set the day you were on set, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I didn't get to watch you work. Yeah. yeah. For me, so I, I, I'll say Aina. Yeah. I'll say Aina because I hadn't read the script, but you know how it's on paper, and I had to yeah. only with Shane. Yes. So I didn't know what he was going to bring. And even though I wasn't in the scene, mm -hmm. I saw him <laughs> create things. Yes. Him yeah. that, so, yeah, so that for I me just, was the most yeah. fun. I think I remember I was on fun. set that day and yeah. he changed into his outfit. Oh, yeah. And he walked yeah. up. He were yes, 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 yes. And I'm looking at him like, what is this? He just, you know, he looks like a local abattery. You know? Yes. yes. Ah, my brother. I'm sure. not here being with people. No, no, no. You know what I want. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just saying that he looks like, you know, he yeah. people. Yeah. Was, so, uh, yeah, you know. He was, he was, he was, he was so much he fun to work with. Yeah. It was so much fun to work with. You know, um, sometimes I had to struggle to keep a straight face listen to him even if he was speaking a lot of Igbo that mm. I, I i i that i don't understand i he, he was he was with so much energy and there was there was an instant chemistry back and forth Between because he was antagonizing me mm -hmm. and it was lovely even if you didn't want to be antagonized <laughs> he will just him just him <laughs> just the, 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 the size of the guy you know? It was very hard playing two characters, and I know that people may not believe me, but it was very hard because the director had told me about Landlady in March. Because I remember, I, I, I saw her in March um, 2015, and I remember, I was like, ah, Mama, how far? And she was saying, oh, she, so Elisha didn't told me before March mm. last year. And, and she wanted me to create some songs for the Landlady and all of that. So I was already, you know, I was like, ah. 
<laughs> Mama, she really believes in you. Uh, if she thinks I, she was trying to write the song that the landlady was going to sing and make them original and everything. So that gave me time, and then I, I found you know some old women in the then Sergio Show Market because my we used to go to Sergio Show Market a lot, and then those women always had a scarf or something they were playing with. Mm -hmm. Then when they stand, they stand with their legs apart and they are slightly bent. So the, so I had time for her for the landlady. Then we were now getting ready to show. I said, I got the script. She now. You know, said it casually. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> you are going to play and another character for me, oh. Beauty. Beauty. Just read. I'm like, what's she, what, what she, she just say that? What's she talking about? What's she saying? And then I read the script and then the hard work came because creating one character is enough work. Creating another character in the same film and you don't, you, they, they have to be different. And so I started thinking, what would I do? So there were times I would call her. I remember when I asked her, can I give um, beauty some deformity with her lip and she said I should feel free I think that was the best thing I heard she just said feel free do whatever you want and then we're going to have rehearsal and then when I come to rehearsal she would we'll work at mm. it and so the landlady was good but then beauty in terms of her speech her dramatic pauses these are the things for me that helped beauty stand out and it was a rehearsal I don't know if you remember that night and so we would read and then she would say you know put the comma here or do this then I did the lip and she was like I love it yeah. and she was like just keep it when I saw the lip I just, like, oh, just keep it but well, then it was hard because I had to keep my lip like that one mm. so she said like, don't worry I will always look at the monitor if the lip is not as easy we will cut you will rest your lip and then we'll do it <laughs> you will continue you know so yeah. beauty beauty bringing beauty alive was hard but the rehearsals were even better mm. because all i had to do and then she'll come and meet me when she's saying she just say remember yeah. what we said at rehearsal just remember and so yeah that was that was the process pretty mm. much for yeah. the two characters so i was well guided yeah mm -hmm. Oh, there's uh, Top by Tadella as well. Yeah. yeah. Topper plays this metrosexual. Fruity. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, he, he's the one who introduces beauty to the film. Because yes. when she was, she, she gets to say her name to him. And he's just like, it's wow. such an attitude. Well, he's in all of her beauty. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just Let's just say. You know, in a roundabout way. Let's just say. He loves him. Yeah. She's a beautiful yeah. girl. <laughs> as far as <she's> concerned. <laughs> Um, I'd say, Arisa and I have a bit of similarity in the sense that um, I, was, I, I had my Arisa moments while I was in secondary school. I was really small, I was in boarding school and I was bullied quite a bit, Aww. you know. So, <laughs> to be honest, I mean, some of that, some of that experience helped in even building Arisa. But I, of course, I had to go, you know, take myself back and you know, search the memories of how how it used to be and how how someone who is constantly abused verbally mm. by you know different different mm -hmm. different authorities, people he has given authority and people who actually have authority by the fact that okay they hired him or a landlady who continues to you know hammer on. The fact that he owes her and you know his other creditors basically <laughs> <laughs> so he's um there's a similarity there but with the uh, 27 20 some year old Shion Wajai, no there's a difference i mean you know arise has absolutely almost absolutely no confidence mm. in and arise is evil and you yeah and arise is evil and, and i'm yoruba so i had to get a friend of mine stay over at mine and an evil friend of mine still about mine and teach me some, you know, evil exclamations, some words, some sentences, mm -hmm. and give him a walk, you know, just and then of course the the costume and the costume and wardrobe and the, the wardrobe especially mm -hmm. helped to, put to the create to bring the guy alive because she and I really don't dress alike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those costumes because yeah. I remember also for beauty. You know how you guys are working the moment. Yolanda put me in my clothes mm -hmm. and Jennifer did my makeup. Oh no. You felt like beauty. I said beauty <laughs> is in the beauty. That's the thing. And that's what people don't know. They don't realize that wardrobe helps. It helps yes. the actor become that yeah. character. character. Yeah. 
laughing? Why are you not laughing? Sorry. Well, um, I guess in this Lagos, if you live in Lagos and you never bought a car or seen a car, people on the road, <laughs> seven a car, then maybe you live in a different Lagos. Mm. You know, so um, it's actually, I like to call it a waka pass role. Mm. They Can like you? to call it cameo appearance. <laughs> so I just have one scene in the film. I played uh, Mamaka, who Arinza's character is owing so much money, and she's just, I think she just had enough of his nonsense, you know. <laughs> um, creating that character, like I said, you live in Lagos, you mm. see people who hawk, you see people who sell Akara, so it's easy to just watch them mm. and just do the same thing they're doing. Mm. And I think it was a little easier because I just had one scene to shoot, mm. and it was completely it was unscripted. Totally yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, everything you saw. Uh, in a, um, everything in in yes, yeah. everything was just everything was we improvised. Yeah, yeah. there were no scripts. There were no, 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 no lines, no, 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 nothing. Uh, which is part of what you were saying. Because and, and it is so funny that I was going on another set the next <laughs> day. <laughs> you know? And you're about to start. And, so. Yeah, I was about to start this other film and I get on set and the mill goes, no, 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 you guys improvise. I'm like. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, it brings us back to you know your, your point about her, her helping the script. Because yeah. yeah. she had said when she sent it to me, she was like, "Don't look at the script the way it is. Oh, there are many things we are going to create on set." Yeah. And I think that gave the film volume. So yes. what you watch and the hard copy of the script, mm. very totally different. different. Yes. And that's what, you know they always say sometimes like, scripts are guidelines. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, I know mine. The scene between Tokbo Tedala's character and uh, and, and Beauty, and Beauty. Uh, <laughs> Kenmin's uh, character in the office, yeah. where she introduces herself to Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Stevens, and Dedo. Kyle Stevens, and Kyle Stevens, yeah, Kyle, Kyle Stevens, and Dedo. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my name is Kyle. Kyle, Kyle Stevens, <laughs> and that's my favorite. Yeah. Favorite and then scene, she so. now says, yeah. and you, and she looks at him, and she's like, Do your mouth, Beauty. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. that exchange. Yeah, I like that. I like that scene. Uh, I think for 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 me and my character, um, there's a turning point in the film where between Arinzi and his boss, and that without that yeah, giving without giving it away, yeah, there's a turning point <laughs> scene between Arinzi and his mm. boss, and amazing things happen. That you're not going to say that I'm not going to. Good, 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 good. good, good, good. <laughs> I think for me to be my pay or pack come out scene because mm. that pay or pack come out became mm. like a chorus mm. and it, it came through at rehearsal mm. when when reading and then my mom just say come on come on yeah let's talk I mean, about I, the other actors quickly um, um, Beverly, Beverly Naya yeah. yes, Beverly yes, plays yes. Omar Sigo Gregory Jeffwa and, and um, Gregory Jeffwa is the horrible boss. You see, horrible yeah. boss is one and two. His horrible boss is one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> there, are lots of, there are lots of talented young Stephen actors Stephen. in yeah. this yeah. film, and that's what really the Audrey Silver. One of the things Audrey Silver is about is to help the young um, generation of actors find their feet in this industry. And I hope we've been able to do that with this mm. film. Yes. yes. And yes. the meeting as well. Yes. 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 So. Launching career. Launching career. Launching career. Yeah. I'd ask them that, that question. I was just there one, yeah, two, one, few days. Yeah. Because I was on another set. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was there like, the whole thing. thing. Yeah. I have, I have to think about Okay, yes. Um, one of the most memorable things. When I bought you ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> when I bought cold steak for That was a memorable day. I wasn't there that day. Yes. That was a memorable day. But yes. um, I think one, one of the other ones was when we, when we first. We're going to shoot on one of our locations, which was uh, Arinze's office, mm. and we did the first scene. We did the first scene there, and I remember the director told me mm. that I brought her close to tears mm. while shooting the. Now, mm. it like it was a small moment for mm -hmm. maybe everybody else, but it was really Means big. A lot. For yeah. Me. Yes, yeah. It was really big for me because it just meant that. She believed it. Yes. Yeah. And every actor wants their yeah, director to believe. Yeah. You want the confidence. Yeah. 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 yeah I and think that just 
he, he, as a whole, as an omnibus, it was an omnibus of moments, yeah. you know, because there was a great environment created for everybody mm -hmm. to thrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially in that office. I mean, I had besides the landlady things, I had things in the in the office as well. Mm. And I know, you know, the day I was sick, mm. I was sick on the yes, second yes, day. Yes, yes. I was, I came oh, home. Yes, yes, I had malaria. Wow. It was bad. I was running a temperature, mm. and they were telling me, "Sorry, give me medicine." <laughs> the show we was gone. The show was gone in this business, <laughs> you know. But we had to shoot. So some of those things you see beauty mm. in. She, she was running a temperature, she wow. was making, thrown up, yeah. she wasn't eating. Well done, but well everybody well was well so supportive. Mm. And I remember it was it was I don't know if it was later that night, there was something the director saw as well. And she was just like, Oh you guys, mm. you guys are making me so proud. Yeah. <laughs> it was such a moment. Yeah. It was it was just this uh -huh. English is killing me. Camaraderie. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camaraderie. Yeah. 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 That it would do very well. Very well. well. Yeah. And by all know, standards. By the grace yes, of God. We're Africans, God. so we always have God. Yes. 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 And we need, yes. We need God. We need God. Yes. yes, we need God. It's God that will remind all of you to so. be there. When <laughs> you people are going, you won't fight with your boyfriend. Yes. yes. Yeah. Movie dates must hold. And when you get there, you'll concentrate. Because some people go to the cinema, they don't concentrate on what you feel. Yeah. Yes. 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 So by the grace of God, we will concentrate and watch the film. Yeah, when they come out and they enjoy it, they will Then you tell people. Yes. So some of you will go and see five times because you go with different groups. Different groups. I hope you know. I, I, you so know. we hope for the best. We're hoping I that it will do well. Yeah, we're going to do all kinds of yeah. things. We closed for Christmas break yesterday. What in the name of baby Jesus are you doing here, Mr. Hill King? My name is Arise Ogweze, not Hill King. But that is the direct translation from Ibo. Ogweze. Hill King. Hi, my name is Ruti Dominic. Hello, my name is Shion Ajayi. And I am Lala Akindoju. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Pulse TV. TV.